Hey everybody, I'm Brands, and this is a tutorial on how to do the sandbar clip in Valley Bowser 2. So, this clip is useful oh. in every category that does the secret exit of this stage, in which you are at least Big Mario. You can do this trick with or without cape, it doesn't matter. So, I'm just going to show you my visual cues. Um, these are what I use, some people use other things, but I find that these cues are really consistent. So when you have Mario aligned up against this wall here, you want to start running when the sandbar reaches this point. Uh, you might notice the, in the darker section of the wall, there's three little dots in a diagonal line. And when the sandbar is lined up with the top of those dots, that's when you want to start running to the right. So then at this point, a little bit after this, uh, if you look at the top bit of the sandbar, it's kind of lined up in between a large dot and a small dot in the pattern there. And this is approximately when you want to jump. So it's a two frame window to actually clip out here. Oh wow, I did that after the pause. So if you do it right, you'll end up out of bounds in the sandbar. But that's not the end of the trick actually, there's still more to it. So you have to get P-Speed here, and right there, if you make it through there, you've saved time. Because that's the actual uh, time save, is skipping a cycle. You can get the clip and then like fall in this hole, and then you don't actually save time, even though you got the clip. So it's important that you make it over to this hole over here to the right. So again, these are just my visual cues. It's what works for me. You might find something different, but that's what I do. And I guess I'll show you this without cape as well. Uh, let me just exit the stage, I think that'll be easier. Okay. So obviously since you don't have cape, it's a little bit different oh. afterwards, but all the cues and stuff are all the same. Let's just, uh, I might hit that cape. Oh. <laughs> Let's drop it back here instead. So like I said, all the keys are the same, but after you go out of bounds, it's a little bit different here. Because you can't just fly, you have to jump over that gap and then jump up here. Kind of like that. It's a little bit more difficult without cape, in my opinion, but only marginally. So a lot of the time, if you screw this up and you jump too late, you'll just slide through. Unless your timing is really bad. But if you jump too early, um, you're dead. So don't jump early. Uh, if you run too early, you can still save it just by delaying your spin jump. So if I run a bit early here, I can just slide and then delay my spin jump and I'll still make it through the sandbar. So this trick is hard. Like I said, it's two frames. Uh, it takes a lot of practice, but those are the cues that I use and hopefully it helps.